Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Hello to your faces, Scuba here, and welcome back to a new video where today we got two packages for you. One is an eBay pickup and the other are winnings from an auction. Now the winnings from the auction are a huge package. I mean, it barely fits in this frame. I mean, well, I mean, it goes outside the frame. So we're gonna save that for a second. So first, we're gonna go for the eBay pickup. So here is the package I got from the winnings from eBay. Comes in this package, I got it today. So we're gonna take our handy dandy knife and we're gonna open up this package and I'm gonna show you what I got. So hope you're all having a wonderful day out there, no matter where you are in this beautiful world. Hope you keep that smile on your face and you're staying positive. Also, hope you guys are having a great new year so far. We're just getting started in this 2020 year. Still have a long ways to go. All right, here we go. Now, if you guys are familiar with older games like the NES, the N64, the Sega Genesis, I think most of you might like this game. Now, I will be sending this in to get graded along with another game I picked up not too long ago. So, I'm very excited about this. All right, let's take a look, shall we? All right, nicely uh, bubble wrapped. I kind of wish they uh, put it in a box because bags like this, they're more acceptable to damage. That's just, that's just my opinion. So I kind of wish they put it in a box, but they did, they did nicely wrap it in bubble wrap, so that is a good thing. I do like that. And we get a sealed copy of N64, a sealed copy of N64 game of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Very, very cool. Show you all around it. So like I said, if you guys are gamers, I think most of you will be familiar with this game. It was a very, very awesome game in my opinion. Not for, not for some people, but a lot of people like this game. It had, it, it, it had its moments, I'll say. Conker's Bad Fur Day. The guy at Rare, the guys at Rare had been very, very naughty. The day after his 21st birthday bash, Conker's sporting the worst hangover ever, and he just can't seem to find his way home. Prepare to stagger through randy, raunchy, rangerous scenarios, crayon full of bad manners, twisted humor, and graphic bodily functions. Unless you're a fan of violence, foul language, and racy innuendo, you best steer clear of this one. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. But yes, I'm really happy I was able to find and win this sealed copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day on the N64. It's in pretty good condition. There's a slight crease on the front and on the on the top there is a slight little uh slight little indent right there but overall it's in great shape i'm very happy all right so that's my ebay pickup 
So we're gonna put this off to the side. Let me just find a spot for it. And then we're gonna move on to my auction winnings. Get the box here real fast. Like I said, this is a huge box. So be prepared for the screen to be covered. And I mean, when I say big, I mean big. So it goes from here all the way over here. It's gigantic. All right, so here's the top. So we're gonna cut this thing open here. Excuse my hand, or my arm I should say. So yeah, this took uh, about three and a half, four weeks to get to me. I won this in an auction and it, it had to travel from one auction spot to another. So I think that's why it took a little bit longer than usual. All right, so we're gonna open this up. And then there's what's inside. Two separate pieces here. So I'm gonna stand this up real fast. Oopsies, sorry, move the camera for a second. Give me one second, guys. Well, I get these pieces out of the box. Immediately tell what one is which. That's for sure. All right, what else is in here? All right, those are just receipts. I can keep those in there. We don't need any of those. All right, so let's go, let's go with this one first. Here's the first piece. All right, where's my knife? There it is, okay. So we're gonna cut this open here. Be very careful, oopsies. That kind of sprung open, didn't it? Woo, <laughs> I was not ready for that. All right, grab the contents inside. Put that over there, ba boom. All right, so here is our first item, ladies and gentlemen, that we won from the auction. All right, we're cut this tape open very carefully. Now, I haven't told you what these are. These are both memorabilia pieces. That's right, it was a memor memor can't talk. memorabilia auction from movies, uh, Disney, all the sorts. So there was like artwork, uh, movie pieces, a lot of different things. There's really some really cool stuff in there. So I picked up two things that I really thought were amazing. Man, they really package this well. I like it. Keep it. Keep it nice and protected. That's for sure. All right. Toss this off to the side. All right, I'm gonna peek at this real fast. All right, that's just the auction tag. Okay. So our first item is comes in a frame already, and it is you guys can see Monsters Inc. Original story by Pete, Dr. Jill Colton, Jeff Pigeon, Ralph Eagleston. Screenplay by Andrew Stoughton, Daniel Gerson. 
Final Draft 2001 Copyright Disney Pixar. So this is the final draft script from for Monsters Inc. That is so awesome. And it came already framed. I'm not sure if I like all these bubbles that it came with. Actually, can we can we remove this? Actually, I think we can remove this actually. Give me one second. Yeah, we can. I thought this was inside the frame, but it's, it's something that they put on to protect it. So let's take this off real fast. I was like, why is it blue? That's just pr protective film. So let's take this off real fast, shall we? So we can get a better look at it. There we go. There we go. All right, so there we are. There's our first piece from the auction that we won, a Monsters, Inc. final draft full script from Disney Pixar from 2001. That is super awesome. All right, so that's our first piece we got from the auction that we won. That's that's super, super awesome. All right. Then we got our next piece here that we're gonna pry open with our knife here very carefully. I mean, how many people can say they have the final draft final draft of uh, Monsters, Inc. I don't think very many. At least, at least I think so. All right. Oh. Okay, it's a, uh, it's a uh, tapes to the top. I was not expecting that. Give me one more second, guys. Oops, so there we go. There we go. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was actually. The second item I thought was pretty small, but this one's actually big. We're gonna move this script out of the way real fast, actually. Move this tape. Here's the opening over here. from the plastic. All right, here's the second item. Oopsies, turn this around here. Walt Disney presents Atlantis Sequence 2 workbook, Milo at the Smithsonian. Let's take a look at this, guys. So, these are the original, this is the original workbook from the Walt Disney movie, Atlantis. And this is the, the sequence, Milo at the Smithsonian. So let's, let's flip through this real fast with this. Milo at the Smithsonian. So these are the original sketches.
that is really unique. A really cool piece right there. See the real, original drawings, the notes. On the bottom you can see sequence two, page three. Looks like they included part of the script right here. That is really awesome. I'm super excited to have this. Part of the movie, more of the scripts. That is really, really awesome. I know I'm saying awesome a lot, but super exciting to have this. A couple more pages we'll go through. Yeah, so that was the Atlantis, Walt Disney presents Atlantis Sequence 2 Workbook, Milo at the Smithsonian. That's a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, when the, the picture at the, on the site, it looked like it was small, but this was, this is good size actually. So guys, so that was my winnings at the auction. We had the Atlantis Sequence 2 Workbook, Milo at the Smithsonian, and the Monsters Inc. original final draft script. So that was the auction winnings. And then from eBay, to recap, we had Conker's Bad Fur Day. And then I will be sending this in to WADA to get it graded. And also, give me one second, I will show you what else I'm sending in. Now I picked this up in a mystery box um, a little bit ago. It is just a cartridge but it is the cartridge for the NES game, Star Wars. And it is in really, really good shape. Officially Nintendo licensed. Seal quality made in Japan. Nintendo Entertainment System. Lucasfilm Games. But yeah, this, this cartridge is in really good shape. So. I will be sending both of these in to get graded. But yeah, so like I said, those are the recaps of what I won, both at eBay and at the auction. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below, your thoughts and opinions, and I will see you guys next time.